Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do you a general message. We're going to see if there's anything that you need to be aware of at this time. Now, like I said, this is a general message. This is not a personal message. Take the parts that resonate and leave the rest. Anybody interested in the personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who do reach out for those. And thank you to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So let's jump into this, Virgos. Now, like I always say, you know, the be aware doesn't have to be something bad, right? It could just be something that you need to pay a little bit more closer attention to at this time. So again, take what resonates, leave the rest. So spirit, is there anything at this time that my Virgos need to be aware of? Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you. What's the energy here? What's the sign of Virgo? Now, cross watcher, if you are in here and you are dealing with a Virgo, feel free to flip the rolls. Anything that my Virgos need to be aware of. Thank you, Spirit. So, first, oh, first card coming out we have is courtship. Okay. You know, so this does talk about relationship, partnerships. Um, for some of you, this may even be a marriage, but let's see. Oh, for some of you, this may even be a proposal. I think I got that a few weeks ago. For Virgo, thank you, Spirit. And then occupation, which is interesting because I just looked at that. And there's the marriage card at the bottom of the deck. So. Is there anything here that my Virgos need to be aware of, Spirit? Oh, look at this, Virgos. This may be a good be aware. Nine of Cups with the lovers. Someone see you as wish fulfillment. But the only thing that I'm looking at is that that woman's head's kind of turned away. So it's either you, someone here going to be a little bit shy about whatever this situation is when this person approaches you. Or this may, for some of you, this may be somebody that you already know that wants to maybe come back towards you. And maybe you ain't going to be so sure. But let's see what comes out in the tarot. I heard this is going to be, okay, you know, take it out, it resonates. But I'm hearing this also may be a message for someone who has been celibate for a little while. Uh, what you call a little while, I don't know. All right. Maybe you just had your head down working here and this takes you by surprise. What is this courtship? What do my Virgos need to be aware of? Thank you, spirit. Coming strong. Okay. Yeah. Five of Swords. Let's see. Someone here may have some tricks up their sleeves here, Virgo. What is the Five of Swords? So someone here is feeling defeated. What do my Virgos need to be aware of? The Fool card. What is this Five of Swords, Spirit? Someone's definitely about to take some sort of a leap of faith here. The Three of Pentacles. <laughs> I have to clarify that five of swords. Show me more. What is the fool? The death card. I feel like somebody wants to have another, like I said, maybe a rebirth here with you here, right? Now, this is a general message. This could be anybody, even though it says courtship, right? This could be like a partnership in terms of maybe somebody wants to work here with you. But we'll see. We have the Three of Cups in the reverse. Spirit, what is that Five of Swords? Because the Five of Swords, to me, it talks about, you know, somebody maybe, like I said, is maybe making some sort of plan or has some kind of strategy here. But sometimes the Five of Swords says to me that somebody wants to win at all costs. Three of Cups in the reverse, though, with the Three of Pentacles. So for some of you, this may be somebody leaving a third party situation here with the two threes. And maybe wanting to take a leap of faith to come towards you, Virgos. But the Three of Cups in the reverse talks to me about there's no celebrations. Now, it could also, like I said, to me, be saying to me that someone may be letting go of a third party because maybe something didn't work out. And maybe they're wanting to come and build with you. But Spirit, show me what is the Five of Swords? Ooh, Epiphany and Breakthrough in the reverse. Show me more. I 
and decisions. Yeah, I feel like something didn't work out somewhere else, right? Tower at the bottom of the deck. Um, and, and, and I feel like someone here may be trying to make some kind of decisions of how is it they can get back toward you. But let's see. Three of Cups in the reverse. Show me more about the Five of Swords. Wow, the three, 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 three. Three of Wands talks about somebody seeing the bigger picture. It also talks about somebody waiting for their ships to come in here. Spirit, can Virgos trust this Five of Swords? The Empress. Show me more. And the High Priestess. Damn, Spirit says, Virgos, you are already going to know. Some of you already may know that this is someone coming towards you, right? So that Three of Wands in the upright could very well be you just kind of wait, sitting back and saying, mm-hmm, any day now. Empress and the High Priestess with the Temperance at the bottom of the deck. Damn, some of you are very much divine here. Yeah, you already know the truth here. Ace of Swords. You've received some sort of clarity already about this situation. So maybe you know someone here left you for a third person and you know that relationship is completely going down the toilet, right? Give me one more for the... Three of Cups in the reverse and the Three of Wands with this Five of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. The Hermit, like I said, for some of you, you already know here. You have an inkling. Now, for some of you, this may also be an energy. Like I said, there may be, I don't know, some people that are working together here to get one over on you. What's the Fool and the Death card? Thank you, Spirit. Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady wins the race, but this is also an energy of this. There's hesitation here to come and bring you this offer here. And the Page of Wands, yeah. So somebody definitely wants to communicate here with you. Six of Wands, someone wants to have victory or they see you having some sort of victory here. And there we go, coming out sideways. We have the Lovers, the Seven of Swords and the King of Wands. So again, now we have the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords out here. So for some of you, like I said, right, I'm going to put this two ways. This is either someone who is planning, plotting and scheming to come towards you for whatever reason. Or this is someone who wants to come towards you and give you an offer, but because there was some sort of deception here in the past. Like I said, you may not be willing to work with this person. You may not see this person as good news, right? Some of you have maybe moved on. The full card and death. You've had some sort of rebirth, but I really feel like this person wants to come back towards you here. So, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Why am I not surprised? There is Leo Sagittarius. I don't know what kind of relationships you guys have going on with these fire signs. <laughs> but it feels very toxic for some of you. Obviously not for everyone you know if this is your story, right? Um... Yeah, the magician at the bottom of the deck. See, I don't know that this there may have been some manipulation. It all depends on what this seven of swords and five of swords is about. You know, they may have done something, said something in the past here, which they are kind of regretting, right? Like I said, especially for some of you, if they kind of chose um somebody over you. Now, for some of you, even if there wasn't somebody else involved, which I'm finding that a little bit difficult to believe with all the threes out here. Um, this could be that maybe this was somebody who liked to party a lot. Maybe this is someone who liked to drink or just be around friends. Spirit, what's the Seven of Swords? What is the Seven of Swords? So we have in the reverse, we have Awakening and Remember. So this is someone who is not awakened or they wasn't, right? And now you have guarded and vulnerability. So I don't know if this person is in some sort of a vulnerable state here. And Spirit, what does this person want from my Virgos? Let's do that. <laughs> what does this King of Wands want? I mean, we also have a Knight of Pentacles out here, the Star card. Okay, so for some of you, they may want to heal this situation. Clarify. 
What does this energy want from the Virgos? Three of Swords. Give me one more. Too many. King of Pentacles. Oh, and the King of Cups. There's a lot of all the threes out here now. I don't know if this person is heartbroken that you healed. I don't know if this person is heartbroken that you have options. Clarify this Three of Swords. The Knight of Cups. Wanting things to move on to the next level. But yes, I was just about to say it. This could be this person's karma. But for some of you, there's definitely an energy of reconciliation. Oh, yeah, with the Four of Swords. But again, you know, this has, would, there would have to be some kind of truth spoken here or some clarity in this situation. And that Four of Swords or the Ace of Swords, it brings us right back to the Five of Swords, which was the first card out. So again, whatever this person did, it's very much heavy on their mind or there would have to be some truth that is spoken. But I do think about healing this situation, but the Four of Swords, you know, it can also talk about, you know, laying something to rest. Now, for some of you... Hmm. Oh, okay. This ain't going to be for everybody. For some of you, this person that is wanting to come back towards you, they may have lost someone. I'm talking about like a physical death. But others of you, this, this is someone who's feeling left out in the cold. Spirit, clarify the Three of Swords and the Star card for the Knight of Cups, for this King of Wands. Divine Feminine. Mm -hmm. Show me more. We just saw that Empress, right? Show me what the Star, the Three of Swords, and the Knight of Cups is. Thank you, Spirit. We have the Third Eye and the Ace of Pentacles. So some of my Virgos with that Empress and that High Priestess, like I said, you're very intuitive here. Uh, maybe you guys are very much building something for yourself here with this Ace of Pentacles. Maybe this person now sees you as a gift. Take it how it resonates. For some of you, they could see you as an opportunity. Hmm. All right. Now, show me what this occupation is. What do my Virgos need to be aware of? Thank you, Spirit. What is the occupation card? Now, straight away with that number 34, I want to say to some guys, some of you here that, you know, with the 34 boiling down to a 7, I want to say your, your workspace is very much protected here, okay? Um, so, I don't know if somebody here was trying to affect that or trying to affect your stability. But with Divine Feminine, Third Eye and Ace of Pentacles, yeah, you definitely good news here. Maybe some of you are speakers. What is the occupation card? Well, there's good news coming about your work as well here. Give me a message, thank you. What do my Virgos need to be aware of? What are we getting stuck on? What are we getting stuck on? The Ace of Pentacles. Let them know, Spirit. Yeah, show me more. Thank you. We have the Two of Swords in the reverse. This is, you know, if there was any blockages when it comes to your work here, Virgo, no more. You know, two of swords in the reverse. We're not at a crossroads. We're not at a stalemate. We ain't confused. It's almost like I'm hearing all blockages removed. And that leaves somebody in some sort of regret. Five of cups. Again, you know, <laughs> always say in this deck. Look at the three cups. How many threes we got out here? And it's the three of cups that's in the reverse, right? Someone here made a bad choice. And look at the two cups standing. Somebody ignored the two of cups. Somebody ignored the kind of partnership that they could have had with you. Now they want to apologize. Show me more, Spirit. What do my Virgos need to be aware of? The Emperor. I'm seeing the Queen of Swords. I said, are some of you speakers? Are some of you whistleblowers? 
Do you give advice? Are you counsellors, solicitors, lawyers? The truth. Clear and direct. I'm hearing, <laughs> I'm hearing this Queen of Swords don't cut no corners. So I don't know who was cutting corners here with that Seven of Swords and Five of Swords. But it's the energy of where did it get you? Nowhere. We have the Magician, which talks about you are in strong manifestation energy here. Now, I personally feel like this, I'll clarify, but I feel like this Emperor energy, number one, is coming out because a lot of you, I don't know if you're stepping into that energy where you're kind of becoming your own bosses, running your own businesses, but you're coming out as a leader. You're coming out as someone who has structure and discipline. Now, let's clarify the Ace of Swords and this Emperor, because it could mean something else. What is this Ace of Coins and the Emperor energy? Thank you, Spirit. The Empress. Okay. Uh, now, okay, hold on, because I see the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Now, for some of you, I could take it this way, okay? I could take it as Virgo. You're so in control of yourself for some of you that you know how to balance that feminine and masculine energy in you, right? I know when to be the emperor. And I know when to sit down and be the empress. Now, for some of you, this could also be saying to me that I don't know if the universe is very much gifting you here an equal partner. Empress and the Emperor with the Ace of Pentacles and the Magician. Oh, that's a couple not to play with. Clarify this, because I feel like for some of you, this is that partnership. This is that one that's going to come in. Yeah, look at that, the Sun card. Clarify. Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor with this Empress. Page of Swords. It's maybe somebody who may be coming towards you here, Virgos, that may be watching you, spying on you. I see the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So this could just be, it doesn't have to be an, an Earth sign. It could just be maybe someone who is financially stabled, grounded, got their ish together, right? Oh, I, I keep seeing happy cards, the Ten of Cups. We want on this Empress with the Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Page of Wands. Message. Hmm. Someone may be watching you at work, so I don't know what you do. Spirit, clarify. <laughs> clarify the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. What is this Ace of Pentacles um, with the Emperor and the Empress with this Page of Wands? What is that energy? Show me. It says, oh, <laughs> you have Renew and Spark. Stella going to get her groove back. And then we have the Venus offer, an offer of love. But with that magician, I just feel like for some of you, like I said, I feel like this is, for some of you who this is for, this is going to be a relationship that, oh, the Ace of Air, truth, I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> Oh, let it be me. <laughs> oh, this feels good. Okay, so what is the Two of Swords and the Queen of Swords? Oh, blockages removed. What are we getting stuck on the judgment? Mm. Spirit says we decide. Two of Swords in the reverse and the Queen of Swords, the Hermit. Yeah, give me one more on this hermit energy. Oh, and strong, you know, don't waste this energy, whoever this is. You know, it's almost like I want to say, proceed with confidence here. Oh, the nine of pentacles. So strong Virgo energy out here. What is the hermit and the nine of pentacles? So some of you may be single, but, you know, almost like I want to say for how long? Two of Wands. Someone here is making a decision here about you, Virgos, or this is you making a decision. 
But I feel like somebody's already made the decision. I always say that even though in the two of wands, even in the three of wands, right, this person is only holding on to one wand. Oh, the Ace of Cups. I don't know. <laughs> this feels real good today. I like it. Much better. Oh, with the King of Cups or oh, the King of Pentacles. So I don't know, like I said, some of you may have options. You may be dealing with another earth sign. You may be dealing with a water sign. You may be dealing with someone, an earth sign, who's just very much masking their feelings. Man, cups with the ten of pentacles. Oh, somebody's very, someone's going to be hurt that they lost you, Virgo. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. So show me what this hermit with the nine of pentacles is. What do my Virgos need to be aware of? What do you need to be aware of, Virgos? For some of you, that the past energy, it's not serving you. It's not even going to be compared to what is coming up in your future. But like I always say to you guys, you have free will, okay? Time it and the nine of coins. Why is it here? So I'm seeing past, lack and suffering. I'm seeing karma, balance and justice. So this is definitely karma. Um, somebody here receiving the karma that they need, right? Whether it's good or bad. And then you have past lack and suffering and higher self and activation. So for some of you, this, this may also be somebody that you know, right? But they have had some sort of awakening here. They've had some sort of activation here. They've tapped into their higher self. Now, they may have received some karma, right, for something that they did in the past. But I'm also getting, because the Nine of Pentacles is a single energy here, Virgos, right? Is if you suffered in the past here. Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. I feel like you're receiving some good karma. Like I said, any of the Aces, the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords... These are gifts from the universe, which is why you will see the hand coming out from the sky. It's what you deserve. And with that Empress and the Page of Wands, definitely good news here. Some of you with that magician, it's the energy of you've come into your own here. Wow, so going forward, some of you may see some heightened gifts. You know, your gifts may get stronger. And then you have somebody else here that's in their ego or was in their ego and pride, right? And now they've got fears around them. And now spirit is kind of putting them in a situation where, you know, the options for them are very much limited here. Divine timing. Everything happening in divine timing. Okay. So give me a card to lead out my Virgos. What do we have here, Spirit? Thank you, show me. What do we have? Look at life from a higher perspective. It says getting wisdom is the wisest thing you can do. The Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. Wow, landing on top of that seven of swords. <laughs> so maybe this is a warning for someone. Maybe somebody is in this energy right now, right? Or it could be coming up. Take it how it resonates, guys. It is a be aware. Now, landing on top of that seven of swords, it does say walk away from illusion and towards truth. It says, show me the right path, O Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. So someone maybe here needs to look at this situation more closely or someone more closely what is someone's motives here Archangel Michael what do you have what's the message thank you wow we have number 18 and it says let it go it says this situation no longer serves you. It says allow me to sever your energetic connections to the past so you can embrace the future. And who wouldn't want to embrace that? Virgos, that is what I have for you. 
If anything in the reading did resonate with you, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, Virgos, stay safe. Love and light, guys.